Welcome to this video. It's time to have your Scratch sprites start making noises. They can make sound effects, they can meow, they can sound like they're exploding, they can play music. We can do all sorts of things um, with sounds in Scratch. Now, you have clicked on a link to take you to this point, um, to this project that I have started for you. Very important. The very first thing I want you to do is press the remix button. The, pre the remix button is up here at the top. I don't have one because I can't remix my own project. You will have a button here that says remix. Press it now. If you don't press it, you won't save your work and then you'll turn in something blank and it, it's bad news. So go ahead and take a second, press that remix button to get started. Once you have pressed that, you'll notice the name of your project has changed to include the word remix and that is fine. Now, here's what um, I would like to show you today. If you will notice, there is a tab up here that we have never dealt with. We are all, always dealing with scripts. We dealt with costumes a little bit. And now there is a sounds tab there that we've never looked at. Let's take a look at that. So first thing, I would like for you to click on the cat and see what sounds the cat has. When you click on this tab, this gives you a list, almost um, like their costumes, um, right? Very similar. The cat has two costumes available to it. The cat has one sound available, and that sound is meow. Makes sense, right? I hope you've got your earbuds in for this because your teacher is going to hate you if they hear that meow sound a thousand times. Now, um, when we have our cat, I have his brain started over here. When the green flag cl is clicked, blah, 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 blah. What I would like to do is notice there is a area for sound. Go to sound. There are so many things you can do with sounds. We're only going to touch on a few of them right now, but down here, all these at the bottom, you could compose your own music. You could play notes, uh, you could have rest, you could switch what instrument it sounds like so your notes could sound like they're playing on a clarinet or a violin. It's, I mean, it's crazy what you can do if you're like a music composer. I'm not, so I'm gonna make a meow sound. So you'll notice there's play sound and there's play sound until done, these top two here. And stop all sounds. Play sound basically means begin the sound and move on with your life like press play on the on your CD player and move on with your life. This one means press play and sit and wait until that sound has finished before you move on to the next thing. Sometimes that distinction is important, sometimes it's not. Um, but work with me here. Let's put our meow sound right here. So basically when the game starts, the cat goes to his spot, faces to the right, says meow. Let's give it a try. Very exciting. Very exciting. Now you'll notice that there's a drop down list right here. This would allow you to pick from the sounds that it knows. But we saw earlier the cat only knows one sound. He only knows how to meow. Like he's only got one sound in his brain. That's all he can do. Very nice. Let's go to the convertible. Now pause me if you need to catch up. In the convertible, I'm going to come here and click on his sounds tab. He has no sounds. He doesn't know how to make any sounds, which is really sad. The good news is we can teach him different sounds. So if you will, Take a look at this um, little speaker icon here. You can choose a sound from Scratch's library. When you click on that, you have a million different sounds you could teach the convertible how to make. Um, let's go to effects. And there's one that I think is really appropriate called car passing. So I'm gonna click on it, click okay. And now that is something that the car knows how, a sound the car knows how to make. Um, you can give him more sounds. If I click that again, I could say, I also want him to know how to play, um, I don't know, a gong, boing, we'll try, whatever. So these give him different options. Now the car is able to play two different sounds. Now, when I run this, I don't hear those sounds because even though he knows how to make those sounds, I've never told him to do that. So in his brain, right, you could say, play a sound and you could choose what sound to play. Now you'll notice they're both playing their sounds at the same time. And that's all right, but that's not really what I want. What I would love to do is do a little glide. So I'm going to go to motion. Pause me if you need to catch up. I'm going to grab this glide. I would like him to glide horizontally, which means he's going to stay at the same X. I'm just going to change. No, I'm sorry. He's going to stay at the same Y. Math. He's going to say it the same way. I'm going to change this X to something far across the screen, like 250. 
Now if I run this right now, he glides. He glides pretty fast. I'm going to change that to be slower. Very nice. Now, what I would like to do is I want to begin this sound. So I'm going to go to sounds. And I'm, you have two options. Play the sound, play until done. Let's grab play the sound. I want to put that above the glide. And I want to play that car passing sound. So it'll begin to play that sound, but it's not going to wait for the sound to be done before it starts gliding. So it will just start the sound and move on. So watch this. Very nice. Very nice. So that takes him five seconds to get done. If you want to be really, really, really mean, I'm going to go to the cat's brain. I'm going to wait about four seconds. And then, actually, sorry, I'm going to wait about four seconds before I play that meow. And have fun with him. Awesome. I'm sure there's a good explosion noise you can find, a good crash noise you can find, and with timing, with the kind of the weights, you can make it actually feel like the sounds happen at an appropriate time. Very nice. So play with your sounds, see if you can get some kind of terrible crash noise, or make it very painful for Scratch Cat, and then turn that in for me.